Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are Pointers Arithmetic. That means we can perform some mathematical operations on the pointers. Or like we can increment a pointer. When we increment a pointer, it points to the next location uh, from the location where it is currently pointing. And we can also decrement a pointer. When we decrement a pointer, it, loc it points to the location which is exactly before the current location. And we can add some numeric value to a pointer and we can also subtract some numeric value from the pointer. So these are the only few operations that we can perform on the pointers. Let's go and do all this practically. Okay, in this program I'll demonstrate the pointers arithmetic. First let me go and declare a pointer of type int. And one more variable, say suppose n equals to some value. And I'll assign the address of n into the pointer variable like this Peter equals to ampersand n. Remember this ampersand operator will bring you the address of the variable n. Right? So first let's go and print the content of PTR variable, PTR pointer variable. PTR, that's all right. So control F9. So the value stored in PTR is triple F2. Okay, that's okay. Now, let me increment the pointer variable. Right? So I've incremented the pointer variable. Here I'm going to print the value stored in it. Control F9. So the value stored in PTR is triple F6, which means the pointer now after incrementation is pointing to the next location after triple F4. The, after triple F4, the next location is uh, 6 because the pointer is of type int, so it has to move 2 bytes away from the current location, right? So let me repeat this operation for one more time. So right here I've got three, four, five times. Okay. Oh, that means I'm repeating for five times, right? Four times. Okay. Control F9. So here, so this is how we can increment the pointer. Triple F4, triple F6, triple F8. After 8, we have got A here because uh, in the hexadecimal number system, the 10 is represented with A and 12 is with C, right? Now, uh, we have performed the incrementation of a pointer. Let me do the decrementation, right? So here I've got the decrementation, control F9. So the value stored in PTR is triple F4, after triple F2, uh, after that triple F0, double F double E, double F E C. So this is how pointer gets decremented, right? When it is incremented, it points to the uh, next successive location. And when it is decremented, it points to the previous location from the current location. So now, now let me add some value to the pointer. So let me delete all this stuff. We don't need this now. Control delete. So just go and see all these shortcut keys. You will find very handy. All of these are very helpful. Okay, let me keep as it is. Now let me add some value to the PTR, to the pointer variable. PTR equals to PTR plus say one. Uh, it it will move to the next location when we add a unit to the PTR. So let me copy this statement. Ctrl F 
control F9. So the value stored in PTR is triple F4. Next time it is triple F6. So that means it moved to the next location because it is integer type. So it has to move uh, away two bytes away from the current location, right? So when we add two, it means two integers will be added. Control F9. So that is how it moved to the uh, two locations after the current location, right? So we can also subtract the integer control F9. So before subtraction, it is triple F4 after it is triple F2, right? So this is how we can perform the pointer arithmetic and we can also compare two pointers together. So let us go and declare one more pointer here. PTR2. So let us make this also point to the same variable. PTR2 equals to ampersand n. So this is also possible. Two pointers can also point to the same memory location. All right. So, so I'll print the statement. So value stored in pointer 2 is equal to pointer 2. Right. So I'll compare those two pointers here. So before comparison, so before comparison, let me check the contents of both the pointers. Control F9. So has both the pointers has got same address. Now let me go and compare those two pointers. If if PTR equals to PTR2. Shift. Um, same, right? Control F9. Yeah, so we have successfully compared those two pointers. Else, not same. So let me take one more variable. Or n2 equal to 10, right? So PTR now will, PTR2 now will point to NTR2, control F9. So they are not same, right? PTR has got triple F4, PTR2 has got triple F2 because, so that's why they are not same. So likewise we can perform the comparison also. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.